Hello, thank you for joining us on Channel 24 and this edition of Voices of Jonesboro. I have Mitch Johnson in the studio with me. How are you doing? Good. Appreciate you having me. Absolutely. Uh, let's refresh everybody. What ward do you represent? I represent Ward 4. I'm in the second position, which is uh, I'm actually in the southwest Jonesboro area. Okay. All right. So in 2012, what do you think was the biggest accomplishment for the city of Jonesboro? Well, I really feel 2002's biggest, or 2012's biggest accomplishment was probably uh, uncontested mayor's race. I mean, <clears throat> Harold seems to have such a, a big grasp on the city and its finances, better than we've had before. Right. And I feel with his, his uncontested race, and as well as the other six aldermen that were up this past year getting mm -hmm. reelected, I, I feel the council as a whole is a, is, is a well-meshed, a mm -hmm. uh, bunch of folks. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that it's a rubber stamp department, but right. we bring enough to the table and we talk to each other enough that, that I feel that we're really in sync with each other and we're right. working together to move the city forward. Well, you're getting stuff done, essentially. We are. Yeah, we are. absolutely. Okay, so uh, in 2013, uh, what would you like to see happen in 2013 so that this time next year or six months down the road, I ask you, what, what was your biggest accomplishment? You can. What would you like to say? Well, and I said this during my campaign last year, I really would like to see better emphasis on infrastructure. I mm -hmm. mean, we with the explosion of growth that we've got, we have just we're we're constantly behind on our streets. Right. But probably the major thing I think would be the Eastern Bypass that we Certainly. need to get traffic off of Stadium Boulevard. Certainly. Now that and that's something that a couple others have as have mentioned and uh, it it's it's one of those I guess the problem is is time because you can't do everything in a year you can't do everything in two years right. and we're constantly fighting growth so uh, would you say that the current budget the current administration uh, the current direction is focused on that infrastructure I think the mayor is really focused on it and like I said it's something that I stressed and I know that he's already in talks with the highway department about looking at alternatives to get that in whether right. it be uh, route one or route two, I know that it's something that he's pushing ahead on and it's something that I'm 100% I'm behind and, and really look forward to seeing that. Okay, so what would you say would be some of the obstacles that we face in the infrastructure, uh, keeping up with it, so to speak? Well, I think our sidewalks, we've got to keep on top of the sidewalks. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting there, but mm -hmm. we still have issues. We, we have the old ones we got to catch up on as well as the new ones that's never been in place anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, I feel one of the, the bad things, and, and this is kind of a, an issue that probably would never fly, but I really think it's sad as we put new subdivisions in mm -hmm. that we don't take some kind of consideration to put sidewalks through there. Right. I know that no one wants a sidewalk in their yard. Uh, right. Everybody's big on yard work and keeping their yards looking nice, but I feel that at some point in time, that's something that we're just going to have to do. Right. It'd make things safer, make things more walkable. It will. And I, I think it will really, in the long run, help the uh, communication right. within our citizenship. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So what, what was, uh, what's your thoughts on this concept of a, of a roundabout? I know Conway uh, has implemented these and over the course of a couple of years, they, they've become successful. They really weren't uh, something that the people liked at, at first because they're tricky and it takes right. uh, it's a pretty big learning curve. But now that they're efficient, that it's a it's a huge success for the city. What's your what's your thoughts on the city of Jonesboro taking on that? Well, I, of course, I, the the mayor from Conway came and spoke to us about mm -hmm. roundabouts at a council meeting, and it looks like it's something that that does work, and it it could be something that could work for Jonesboro. I think we need to be cautious about the areas that we experiment with the roundabouts. Right. I know I've just from talk out in the public, I've had some negativity from several folks at one location, but right. <laughs> but I, I, I think that we've got to find a place to experiment with. I think it's really something that'll work. Right. And, it, you know, I think we'd face the thing, the same things that Conway does. Certainly. It's, it's it, change is hard for anybody. Right. And, uh, you know, I'm typical male. I'm, I have problems with change anyway, <laughs> but I've, uh, you know, I've kind of grown to where I accept change. And, Certainly. and I think change is, a good thing for everyone, and I think it's a good experiment project. Good deal. All right. Well, uh, Mitch, thank you so much for coming in and, and talking with us today. Uh, certainly always a pleasure talking to you. I appreciate you having me today. Absolutely. And thank you guys for watching Channel 24.